Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on the new Vibaro ID and uh, this one's a, a quick one. You should have received an email from Vibaro about changing of IDs and to complete the process you need to you get an email something similar to this an account migration email with your email on it and it, all you do is it'll ask you to click here and it will then take you over to the page where you can change your password like that okay um, I've just shown it on one account once you've changed your password um, and you go back in it'll um, give you another um, sorry uh, it'll give you a secondary email to say that your password has been changed and now you can continue to log in so what I'll do is open up the page again and that's where you would put your email to start logging in right so this one's our Yorkshire automation one and then the email we've just created with the with the logins and it will then open up to this page where we can start entering our details again so let's put our normal password and then our email this email actually comes to my phone hence why I used my other account my personal account to um, to give you a demo um, once you've done that you don't need to change the password unless you want to change it and hit save so that just say says everything's okay and we've saved it then we click on the services tab that then brings us up on to the new services where everything's going to be all available in one go and look at that Amazon Echo so which is good um, at the moment only one's available so click on access for more and then that should bring you back to the um, familiar page here and what we need to do is we need to um, log in just hit login like that and link your ah here it is link your Fibara ID with the remote access if you want to connect the both remote access account with your Ferrari then we've got to log in here so it's important so and then we put our password in again and hit the link accounts and then read through the terms and conditions, etc. So then they hit accept. Now, what they've done is they've transferred my old account that I used to log in under my new one, just like that here. And it's done. So now my old credentials are now linked to my new account credentials and we now need to use the new credentials to log in and there we are it comes straight back to the normal login page UK and we put the password that we created as before and we can log in and then this allows us to log back in remotely so there we are logged back in as my uh, uh, on my test box I just log out again so there you have it and if I log off again and then I'm back to home.fabaro.co.uk and let me just uh, let's just restart Safari and let's try again so home.fabaro.com Close that and then it'll say, yep, log in with username or just log in using Fibaro ID. Let's log in with that one. Let's log in at Yorkshire Automation dot UK. Next, and the password we uh, set up log in.
there we are that comes straight to our normal login page just like we wanted as before uh, which is a perfect which is perfect okay um, and there you have it that's how you do the migration process um, just make sure you click on link accounts um, because if you don't then we're gonna have to contact tech support for them to help do the migration instead um, like I said very quick video thanks for watching bye for now